Hi guys, welcome to this installment of Min Tips, and today we're going to be talking about e-commerce sites and canonical tags. So a canonical tag is when you're suggesting to Google that a certain page URL is the correct or original one uh, for these types of pages. And canonical tags are used a lot by e-commerce websites because there are loads of products that are being sold and some of the, these products are very similar. Uh, so if we take a look at an example here, we've got on the Nike website, the Nike React Element 55 SE. So if we go onto this page here, we take a look at the URL. So if we look at the page source for this product here and we put canonical, we can see that there's a rel equals canonical with the href linked to that same shoe. So this is known as a self-referring canonical tag and it's best practice that all unique pages on your website have these self-referring canonicals unless it's the example uh, like we're going to show here where there's different color variations for this shoe which eventually shows two different or multiple different URLs. So if we click for the white shoe of this range we can see that the URL has an extra path which corresponds to the color of that shoe. So it's the same thing if we click in the red one, we can see that there is a different URL. But the thing to note is that no, no matter what the color is, if we view the page source, we're going to be able to see that the canonical tag is of the main URL of the shoe. So these are just suggestions to Google and they're saying these pages are very similar because the content doesn't change with these different URLs. The content stays exactly the same. And if these canonical tags were not in place, Google may think that there is duplicate content on these pages. So that is how you should be using canonical tags when you've got very similar types of pages, similar content, and this is especially useful for e-commerce websites.